Exactly three laps to go in the 3,000 metre steeplechase. Very close to British record time if they don't fade in the closing stages. And the leader, the RAF pilot officer number 12, Roger Hackney. In second place, the defending champion, Gordon Rimmer, also of the RAF. And third, Steve Jones of Bristol, fine cross-country and distance runner, but who's now turned to the steeplechase. Fourth place, Colin Reitz silver medalist in the European Junior Championships, but he's let them go a fair long way away. The British record held by Dennis Coates, who was the early leader, set in the Olympic Games. Eight minutes, 19 seconds, the time he set in Montreal, and Dennis Coates back in sixth place. Rimmer leads. This is a fine piece of running by uh, Gordon Rimmer in second place. Hackney, the two RAF boys together. Steve Jones finding it hard in third place. Reeds is four. Tony Stadings as Bristol is five, and Dennis Coates of Gatehead six. Just over two laps to go. Gordon Rimmer, who leads the rankings this year with 8.26.6 in Belgium, which is an Olympic qualifying time by the Olympic standards, but the board has set the sights higher at 8 minutes 25, the British board. Hackney leads, Rimmer second, Steve Jones third, Tony Stenning four, Colin Reitz five, Coates is in sixth place. Steve Jones now lost touch with the leading two. Roger Hackney, the leader there, had a fine season over the country. He was tenth in the National Cross Country Championship. May, re may, re may remember in the uh, match against the Russians at the back end of the last season, he won that race in spite of having a fall. <laughs> the battle seems to be between the two. Seven meters seventy-four. Rimmer really attacking the, the barrier on the outside, but he didn't come out of the water too well. Roger Just about a little bit short. Hackney looking tremendously powerful, but Rimmer's moving quite easily on the flat. Tony Stanings moved up very quickly to third place. He's closing the gap, but he's letting it terribly late. Stanings, who's at University in America. There's the bell, and Stanings now some uh, 15 meters behind the leading two. Steve Jones in fourth place and Colin Reed's fifth. Roger Hackney not leaving it to a finishing sprint. He's really pushing on and testing Rimmer. And Stanings is closing up all the time. Well, this is astonishing running by the little Bristol boy. He's gone into second place. He's come from a long, long way back. He's left it very, very late, but he's full of running, and he's the man now who's the danger. Hackney's going to have the shock of his life there. Stanings didn't take that too well. He's having to conserve his energy and attack again, and there he goes, and Hackney's got nothing to answer with at all. He's come from... Uh, 15 to 20 metres back, and he really gambled to that barrier. He took a real flower at the water jump and got away with it. And he's coming away again as Hackney starts to respond with just one barrier left. He could afford to take this comfortably, but he's not doing. He looks back and he's safe, and Reitz has come with a tremendous run on the last lap too. He's back in third place. But Tony Stanings wins quite comfortably in the end. He's taken 30 metres out of Hackney in the last lap. Hackney second. Third was Reitz. Fourth, Steve Jones, and Rimmer out on his feet back in fifth place, having been right there at the bell. And the last lap, well, a quite amazing 61 seconds for Stoney Stanings, and the time, 8.27.24, inside the official Olympic qualifying time, but outside the British board's selection time. Well, they really felt that. They draped all over the track. Not surprising, too, because that was a really punishing last lap. Roger Hackney must have thought when he'd broken Rimmer, he'd got the UK Championship at his mercy, and then suddenly Stanings emerged, and now, with all the bounds that only a winner can show, he's on the lap of honour.